Hello and welcome to this presentation of two amazing new features, the quick site creation and the front end pipeline. Both features can also be used independently, but really when used together, they make a killer demo. So let's get started with the first one, the quick site creation. You can download this standard site template from this GitHub project and then use it to create sites from it. So let's now go to our production AM instance and create a new site from that template with this menu entry, create site from template. All we have to do is to import that site template, then to choose it and to give this website a name like hello world. That's all. And that was really quick. The website created is fully featured. You can go in right away, edit the pages, create new ones, delete the content that you don't need and add new one. You have all of the core components readily available to you. And obviously you can also do everything you're used to with responsive layouts. That's nice, but what if the theme of this website doesn't really fit my needs, like my branding? Well, then let's go into the second part, the front-end development. You can send to your preferred web agency the sources of the theme for this website so that they can start customizing it without having to know anything about AEM. Now let's play this agency. We received these sources. We are unpacking them and taking a look at what is in there. Pretty straightforward. This readme file gives me all instructions of what to do. First, the npm install command as usual for a front-end project. Next, we can run this npm run live command that starts a local proxy server that will take all the content from AEM but use the local CSS and JavaScript files from this theme sources folder that I'm having. That way, as a front-end developer, I don't need to run AEM but I can still preview all the changes that I do. What I need here, obviously, is some form of a login to AEM. All we need is a user that has some contributor rights. With those credentials, the front-end developer will be able to log in and to preview the content from AEM. The next thing we need to provide to this front-end developer is the URL from which they can preview the content from AEM, like this path. On the local proxy with that path, I will be able as a front-end developer to see the content from AEM and I'm all set to start developing. Let's take an example like changing the background color. This is in the variables file, like this white background. Let's change it to yellow. Now the last part here is how we can deploy that to the actual production environment thanks to our front-end pipeline. Here we need access to that Cloud Manager Gate repository, which we can check out. My Cloud Manager Gate repository, as you can see, is empty. So let's start with moving these theme sources into that Cloud Manager Git repository. All right, these are the changes on Git. Everything is new, so let's add all these changes, give it a commit message, and push these changes to Git. Once that is done, I can add a new front-end production pipeline. Give it a name. and specify the folder location for these theme sources. Now we can run that pipeline, which usually takes about six to seven minutes. 
So here in this recording, I have accelerated a little bit the timing. Once that is completed, we can go to our production environment, refresh the page, and here we see the yellow background as expected.